guys welcome back to my channel um, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you I have more food than I normally get um, let's just get into it I was really pleasantly surprised at some of the finds that I found when I came home from vacation um, I will say <laughs> I am finding some of the new items um, faster than I normally do and I'm happy about that um, let's just get into it it's a beautiful day it's in the 50s I spy thinks it's cold I don't think it's cold or I would not be out here um, it's a nice day perfect road trip weather but I stayed in town okay so when I get off of this video I want to start making um, at least put the two planters you can see one of them in the back that I got from five below they were $12 each I got two black and they have a longer one it's not that long um, that is white I wish it would have came in black but that's okay I have spray paint so I'm gonna be spray painting that but that won't happen today but for that one I got this planter box from Dollar Tree that will sit inside and I bought four of these because I'm going to put these in the bottom of the Dollar Tree flower pots I have and put keep two in the bottom of this one and I'm gonna stick the flowers and then then I'm gonna fill it with rocks um, you know put some rocks on the bottom but I think money wise it's better for me to go to Walmart and get a five dollar bag of gravel than buy the uh, rocks that um, Dollar Tree sells so this is for the long planter and I got four of these so I'm gonna two one for each of those planters and then two for this one okay so that was that I also have some flowers um, in addition to the flowers that I hold already um, I've been taking my time with the flowers because I just don't want to get flowers to get flowers I want it colorful and I want it to like the flowers you know if I'm gonna be looking at them for all of spring and summer so look how beautiful these are what are these Narcissus Narcissus I don't know a strange name but two of those just for some bright color and then these are Freesias. Look how beautiful they are. Dollar Tree has really stepped up their flower game. Then I got two of these just to add some white. And these are also Freesia, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Two of those. And then these pink baby breasts. Okay, two of these. And I'm going to add these to what I have. And um, that should. Uh, take care of the two smaller planters and I'm looking for the uh, longer planter like I said they have flowers out but I'm I just taking my time so I found this and this is gonna go for the area rug in Parker's room new 21 ounce size from wizard carpet and room pet odor deodorizer with deodorizing baking soda and it smells really really good and you get 21 ounces it's a nice container next time I go to Dollar General I'm gonna see if they have this because they have tons of wizard products I got four of these steak lights I'm charging three of them right now and I'm going to be putting these on my white gate that encloses my patio um yeah so look at these these are beautiful and I might get two more and I might get some for the front I really didn't do anything with the front um, it just got too hot the uh, manager at the time in the office she had the landscapers come and pull up all of that nonsense that was there so now it's like a blank slate so um, yeah so I'm looking to do something in the front too but this is where I sit I sit in the back I don't sit in the front but I spy wood but these are absolutely gorgeous it looks like black but it's clear plastic and these are just really really nice and again yes Dollar General does have one dollar solar steak lights I shared those with you maybe I might get some of those from the front but this is definitely worth a dollar twenty five each I can't wait to see them lit up so I will add this to it and I will show you guys what it looks like at night now I probably in my Dollar Tree stash have one of these but just in case in the guest room we keep um, a stick vacuum and we have like a Swifter for upstairs and stuff like that. So I got this for the closet so we can hang them up. And um, these work really well. I use mine all the time. I have one in my bathroom closet that holds 
um, a broom and stuff like that. I have one downstairs that holds a broom and they work pretty well. I'm happy with them. So I got another one. I wish there was three, you know, three things that you can hang. You know what I mean? But this is pretty cool. So I love it. I seen these metal straws and Dollar Tree's had metal straws before, but these are different. These are antibacterial. They're from Mulu or Walu. I don't know. These are four count metal drinking straws. Now I'm not going to lie to you. I still use and still will use my plastic straws, but this is just, you know, just in case they stop making them or I don't, I run out and stuff like that. This is 10.5 inches stainless steel corrosion and oxidation resistant straws. Copper is added as an antimicrobial, which kills microorganisms or stops their growth. Dishwasher safe, cleaning brush included. So I only picked up one. So I, I said give it a try. And they are nice and long. Um, found the belts in plus size. And I seen a YouTube video. There's a couple of more out there. So I'm going to check out a couple of more locations. But I needed belts, by the way. Um, this white one is from Faded Glory. Now, I wish it was black, but it's white. Um, it's a 2X. So it's nice that they had them in plus sizes. And the tag is still there. So you can see this costs $10, okay? Really happy. I mean, these have been around. You know, those of you who live in Havville, you've seen this already. I don't want to bore you, but we're just getting them. And this one is $8, and I love the fluorescent pink, okay? You could rock this. You might have, I, I mean, we have went to 90s themes party. Sometimes there's a theme party. I love the fluorescent colors, so, you know, I'm happy I found it, and I, I, I like it, actually. So, um, I'm happy, because I needed a belt, and I just <laughs> have not made the attempt to go to the store to look for them. Um, I was looking a little for vacation, but sometimes I lose patience, you know, so that's that. Um, oh, to go along, I got these flower foam, foams as well. If I need it to be a little bit taller, I could, you know, glue them together, blah, blah, blah. I found these actually before I found the other ones. They didn't have the other ones, so I was thinking even if I cut it in half just to give it some height. So um, these won't go to waste because uh, my old planters that I had here, um, one of them broke and cracked, so I'm going to be tossing that, but the other one I'm going to move to my front door, and I only could fit one. Um, so, I'm not worried about using these. They'll get used. I might have to buy more, actually. Um, what's next? Beauty finds. I was so surprised. When I came back home, I felt like, you know, I had a nice welcome home Dollar Tree day uh, at my local stores. I only went to two. I went to Winterville and my Daily Dollar Tree, which I didn't make it there yet. I went to Winterville already today, but I got to check out my Daily Dollar Tree. And what I Spy doesn't get because he feels like, well, you just went to one or you just was there yesterday. They unpack new stuff every day. I was there the day before. They didn't have something. I go back last night after my road trip and they have one of my wish list road trip finds. It wasn't there the day before. Um, so it's just, they have to pack up. They have all those boxes in that stock room and they pack out a little each day. And it's sometimes, nine times out of 10, something new. Well, they had these gel nail silk caps. Now they've had these before. They had those like half moon ones or something like that that you um just stuck your fingers in and stuff like that it didn't have a clamp like these do so it really was nothing really holding them in place and tightly to your nail and then you only got five this is a 10 count set and yes i did buy two because i'm keeping one for me not not for nothing i think it's good to have two because sometimes some of these clamps break the springs come out um yeah, I, I'm excited for them again. I'm adding this to my nail bin. I have a nail bin that I'm putting all these nails in because I really don't know what I'm doing. Am I going back? Um, the only thing that's keeping me from going to, back to press on nails is because we have a community pool here and we spend a lot of time there. We spend a lot of time in the water. With those press on nails, if they're lifting a little bit and water gets under there, you can get nail funguses. So that's what I'm thinking about. And that's why when I moved down here, I went back to getting my nails done professionally was because I was worried about getting a nail fungus because sometimes they do lift up. Even when you get them done professionally, if they don't really do a good job, some will lift up on you. If you're past your filling date, that can happen too. I know. 
but uh, and then with the water you know you don't want them coming off you know so that's the only thing that's deterring me but still I'm gonna jump on these nail finds now and I think this is absolutely beautiful nail gift basket ideas Easter gift basket ideas for your older kids okay uh, your older teens that might like doing their nails and do their nails at home I think that's a good deal I have a whole gold basket full of more um, beauty finds so I have found the pretty woman nails but these were not in my neck of the woods and actually out of all of my Dollar Trees in Greenville and I'm gonna include Winterfield because it's just like it's it's right there it's like I can't explain it. it's right up the street but it's the furthest from me so it's probably like a 15 minute drive if that if you can make the lights you probably can get there it's faster but anyway it's right outside of Greenville they're the only location that has these so far my daily Dollar Tree across the street does not have these and these are two uh, that I have not seen or found so I did grab them and these will be going in my nail bin again um, gifts if you don't use them you never know you might know somebody who does I really like this this is perfect for the fall I think not now and the black marble print really really nice so I grabbed them up I found some lashes found some lashes I always pick up the dramatic lashes when I see these because these fly off the shelf um, I'm not sure if it was a manager or if it was just a regular staff member at one of my local stores here um, she said that sometimes beauty supply stores, and she knows that they're business owners or, or resellers, resellers, uh, they'll come and they'll just wipe them all out. Because sometimes it's hard and you just can't find the really dramatic ones. And if you go to the beauty supply store, I don't see Ioni, but there's other similar brands. And they, one, this would be $3.99. You know what I mean? So this is a good deal at $1.25 each. Um, I found a Rimmel. Uh, this is a Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 liner to shadow, and it is this copper color, I mean, but I have some summer dresses that have orange in them, so this is not going to go to waste, and it is a name brand. It's 004 So Savage, so I did haul it. I don't know how it will go with my skin tone. Will it even show? I don't know, but I did haul it, and I'll give it a try. I know I have this. And um, my life has been such a disarray <laughs> when I, I did get a lot done this morning. I woke up with a purpose today. I was up early, maybe five-ish, and I already got a bag, and I already went to the Goodwill, changed my bed linen. So I'm trying to get back on track. I'm even going to cook later. Um, <laughs> I haven't cooked in so long. You know what it is? The price of food is so high. By the time you buy the groceries, you got to cook, then you got to clean. I just we just eat out a lot and I know that's you know you don't have control of what's being put in your food so I do want to start cooking a little bit more but this is a cuticle remover from be pure and I know I have it already um, I use this on like if I'm in between a pedicure like and I want to stretch my pedicure a little bit but you know how the white cuticle starts growing like I might use this and stuff like that gently removes overgrown cuticles so I mean I'm not a pro using those cuticle removal tools either. You can use this on your hands to uh, anywhere, you know, your hands feed or whatever. So, um, yeah, so I picked this up again because I just was frustrated looking for it. And um, I'll find it now. And then uh, before I went on vacation, I found this Freeman mask, Feeling Beautiful, Cleansing Apple Cider Vinegar, Clay Mask and Scrub. Instantly tones, purifies, mattifies for flawless complexion I did get it and I have bought several of these masks I got to get back on track with my little skincare regimen because I was using the um, Amy products every day you know I did a couple of the Freeman masks so I want to get on track all right in my last haul I hold eggs not my last haul but my haul I guess before I went on vacation I found those eggs um, at Zebulon the different eggs and um, you could use those as ornaments, but I'm not using them as ornaments. I told you I wanted to get a gold basket. So what I have to get when I go to my daily Dollar Tree is I'm going to get some grass and put some um, Easter grass in here and then put the eggs and use it as decor, okay? Won't be no real eggs because the price of eggs won't be no real eggs. Those are all my beauty finds. Um, I found more of these large um, zip ties. <laughs> I'm a zip tie diva. I love them. These are good. I have a gate that encloses my patio and I had to 
make my own like sand weights. I got this gate from Amazon. It's a freestanding gate. You don't have to. You can if you, uh, you can stake it in the ground or whatever. Or if it's a wood deck, you know, it does come um, on the feet. It has two openings where you could screw it down. But this is concrete and I don't own here. So I can't be drilling nothing. It, I didn't use it last year like I wanted to because if the, a strong wind comes it's all over the place well your girl came up with this idea and I made sand weights so I took gallon empty gallon bottles um and um filled them with sand got a bag of 50 pounds sand from Lowe's and I used the zip ties to attach them to the gate and it helps it, it really really helps and so some of the smaller zip ties I didn't have these last year they snapped like we had like this really bad windstorm. That's how my planter broke. So these are heavy duty. There's no snapping these. So that's why I got these and I'll make sure that I go through and change out ones that didn't snap to these heavy duty ones. Cause we get a lot of wind here. It's crazy. All right, last thing before we get into the food finds. I found these Eco Gang bamboo cotton swabs and I found these before I went on vacation. Okay, so I don't know what's the difference I don't know it's just BPA free cotton naturally colored oh this okay I'll show you the difference so this one has this design and these are just plain cotton swabs and I got these for my glam area all right let's get into food let's get into the food all right now I don't need this and I know I don't need this but I wanted it. This stuff is so freaking good. And I was somewhere and I couldn't find it. And I said, oh God, it's gone. I don't need this. But you know what? I have to eat this before I start my health journey. So yes, I got it. There's a pink bag and a yellow bag. The yellow has yellow cotton candy. The pink has pink cotton candy. If you have a sweet weakness, don't try this. If you love cotton candy, stay away. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Now, when I was in... Uh, Florida they had Harry and David's coffee and I thought it was just leftover as well they have restocked and these have longer expiration dates the ones that I have now expire in September these are good until February of 2024 they have restocked them all they have the Jim Bean coffee they have the Junior's Brooklyn coffee and they restocked the Harry and David's and I could not resist I still have several I would have to count when I clean out my cabinets because I really have to go through and move things around I probably already have eight bags and I have to use them okay because uh, since I've found those K cups I stopped using these one of these bags is only four ounces but I bought reusable K cup filters from Amazon one of these bags makes 10 K cups how could you beat that you can't beat that 10 cups of coffee for $1.25 and good brand name coffee I love this this is the vanilla cream brulee so I was even thinking about no never mind exchanging some of the because i bought so much for the newer one but i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna use it plus my sister's coming up next month and if she really likes it because um their coffee drink is you know i could give some to her so that's that this is a repurchase this is the bumblebee tuna salad in minutes i spy likes this um for me, I think it needs more. You know, it, it, it comes with a spoon. You can eat it as is, put it on crackers. Like, he, he'll take this to work with crackers. So that's a nice snack. Um, they do have the bumblebee out that has the high protein. However, I have never found, like, a normal flavor. I see ranch, hot and spicy, and I know he's not going to eat that. So I haven't even bought it. But if I find the regular ones, of course, the, better pro the higher protein count is better. Okay, Sweet Sadie J showed this on her channel. And she said her sister can hook it up. And I'm cooking tonight. I'm really cheating. Okay, I bought the rotisserie chicken, but I'm making a ham. I'm going to make mac and cheese. I want yams, stuffing, and string beans with bacon. I want soul food. I have a taste for soul food. So the rotisserie chicken I picked up at Publix, okay? But, um, and the canned gravy, chicken gravy. You know, it is what it is, all right? But I'm going to have some ham. And I, I just want soul food. I have a... Uh, 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 just a taste for soul food so I'm gonna see if I can hook up this macaroni and cheese okay so I got two boxes of this um yeah so and I'm also gonna make this honey sweet cornbread she showed this on her channel and I'm gonna give it a try I might make the cornbread or I might get dinner rolls I don't know but I did buy only one 
bag. I bought two boxes of the mac and cheese and I bought one of the cornbread. I also seen this in the bread department. I don't know. It says fresh through 2000, um, March. Um, yeah, fresh through March. It's March now. I guess that through March, through the month of March. But anyway, I don't know. I'll make breakfast in the morning and uh, have these English muffins. And what made me feel okay buying those is because I hauled this bread. And I hauled this bread a while ago. And I've kept it in the refrigerator. And I spy one of the a grilled cheese the other day. And I don't buy bread all the time. Yes, your girl likes to eat, but I don't have to have bread. Like some people have bread. My problem is sweets. Okay, I'm, I, I don't even buy bread when I go food shopping unless I'm making sandwiches or hamburger buns because I'm making burgers or hot dogs. But bread just doesn't like some people have to have it. No, this is this is my problem. Okay, but um, that bread was still good. And I know I had that bread for at least three weeks, but I've kept it in the refrigerator. So I bought another loaf of the wheat bread and uh, for $1.25 because when I buy the full size bread, it goes to waste. We don't eat it. You know what I mean? We'll eat some of it and then you forget you have it. You know what I mean? That's why I got rid of the bread box because you forget there's bread in there and stuff like that. So out of sight, out of mind, that's what kind of people we are in this household. If you don't see it, you forget about it. So I got those bread finds. Um, this juice I got. So this is from Old Orchard Healthy Balance and um, I Spy likes it. So apple cranberry and it's okay. Apple cranberry. And then here's a regular cranberry and this one has one gram of sugar and they both have one gram of sugar there is another one that has two grams of sugar and they had an iced tea that tastes pretty decent but I don't see the iced tea anymore so he likes them so I have been buying them a food find that I found in Florida that I just did not buy just for the logistics of traveling with it um, was this Chex cereal and again for $1.25, this is fine because, again, might eat half the box and then just be done with it. You know, you, sometimes you have a taste for cereal and, and sometimes you don't. So I did pick it up. I love chocolate and I love peanut butter. So I'm hoping that I like it. Found, I went to a Dollar Tree today that I don't normally go to. I have five in town and then there's one that's about 20 minutes away in Farmville. So six at my, you know, I could that I could be to quickly. And, um... I went to one in Greenville that is a hit or miss with this store and they had these. I only found this one time and never seen it again at my uh, Dollar Trees that I go to frequently. And this is the peach mango low calorie, no sugar added. It's only two grams of sugar where the other ones are loaded with sugar. That Definitely over 28 grams at least, 25 and up, okay, which is a lot of sugar and I'd rather eat my calories and my sugar than drink drink it if you know what I mean um so I haven't been able to find these now when I was in Publix they had a eight pack two eight packs for fourteen dollars so if you do the math you're getting sixteen bottles of this so if you do sixteen times one twenty five you already know so that is a good deal but after spending so much money in Publix I just you know, I just gave you $73. I'll think about it and come back. I just <laughs> I just didn't do it, but that really is a good deal. And I really like this peach, peach mango one. And they had plenty of it on the shelf, but I only bought three. And I think, guys, that is everything. Oh, and I got a six-pack of water for my refrigerator upstairs. Yes, we have a refrigerator upstairs. Because you wake up in the middle of the night, you want something to drink, or it has a, a nice-sized freezer where you can fit ice cream and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, we have had ice cream and treats in there, but uh, we don't right now. But yeah, so this is for upstairs, and that is my Dollar Tree haul. So I think this was a nice welcome home haul. Happy to see the belts. Happy to see these in varieties that I have not seen before. And I'm happy with these finds. Um, if you're new subscribed, I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. Um, check me out on IG at Dollar Tree Queen 76. Stay tuned. I have more hauls and more walkthroughs coming through this week. Take care. Bye-bye.